Corey McDonald's fight who is Jake Ellenberg. I believe it was a great fight. I text Rory. I said it was a very great fight. He, 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 he stuffed a very, very dangerous opponent in Jake Ellenberger. A lot of people give him criticism. But the truth is, uh, you know, it's not only because Rory is my friend and train partner, you know. The truth is, we all knew by watching the fight, Rory was winning the fight. He was doing well. He was like, oh, he was beating Jake Ellenberger. He was up to Jake to take a risk to change the momentum of the fight uh, to, 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 uh, and not to Rory. You know, when you fight as people all the time, say if you're winning the fight and you're doing well, you're winning, it was up to your opponent to change the momentum, to capitalize, because it was, it was, it was not, a, you know, everybody knew he was losing the fight. So I think Rory did a great fight. You don't brawl with a brawler. And I think he did a very good fight, very smart. He shut down Jack Ellenberger. And not only did he shut, him, shut down a very, very dangerous opponent, he, he make it look relative, re, relatively uh, with ace, you know, with kind of kind of easy, you know, in a way. Did you hear Dana's comment about Roy? No, I don't, I don't watch the internet, but may I tell you personally, I don't care what people say. Me, that's what I believe, you know? Yeah, Dana criticized me. He said, you know, you, you got to make something happen so people want to see your next fight. Yeah. He said nobody wants to see his next fight based on the way he fought. You know, just you know, kind of. Your, your I think it's, it's more, it's more when in this situation. I think it's up to the guy that is losing the fight to push, to make, to create something. Because you're losing, you know, you're losing. You you have to do something. You have to go for a blitz, you know, like or uh, all in, or you know, that's what you need to do. You know, if I'm losing a fight, if I'm let's say I'm losing a fight, and I know I'm losing. I'm gonna do something, create, uh, change the momentum. I'm gonna take a risk. Even though the risk, I have the risk to be knocked out or submit, but I'm gonna create a risk, try to change the momentum of the fight. That's the game of fighting. That's the law of fighting. If you wanna have a long career, fight well, be successful, you know? That, that's all you, you have to do. You, you don't brawl with a brawler. Try to brawl with a brawler, you're gonna end up at, at 30 years old, like be like, eh, you know, like, no, you don't wanna be like this, you know? This is crazy. Like, that's me, Rory is my friend. And m most importantly, Rory, for me, is not only a fighter, he's my friend, and I, and I like Rory. And I even text him after the fight. It, it, I believe it was a great fight. For someone who knows fighting, it, I believe it was a great fight. Great that going. Yes. On the other side, for Jake, I don't believe it was a good fight for Jake. I believe Jake should have taken the, do something, at, try to change our momentum. And he did at the end, but it was too late. It was a little bit too late. George, Kevin talked about uh, Dana's comments. Dana also made some other comments. I know you and Rory have been vocal about not wanting to fight each other, but Dana pleads that it's a different scenario behind closed doors. Does that, how does that make you feel, knowing that Dana is saying that Rory is telling him something different behind closed doors? Uh, Rory and I were, were, were friends, you know? We're, 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 I, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm friend with Rory, you know. We, we text, we call each other, you know. Uh, we, we we call, you know. We're we're friend. But does it bother you that Dana is saying that behind closed doors he will fight you? No, I, 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 you know, I, I don't mind. I, I know Rory is my friend, and and there is other ways to to do things. And and, and you know, now I'm focusing on Johnny Hendricks. That's why. That's what. That's why I'm. That's what I'm focusing on. What if Rory did change his mind and come out one day and say, yeah, you know what, I do want to fight GSP, I changed my mind. Would that upset you? Would you feel where he's coming from being a challenger? What would you think? See, this is that hypothetic world that you, you, the, 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 the reporter, you guys want a story to make a conflict happening with me and Rory. It's not going to happen. Rory and I, were, we're, we're tight, we're friends. And I, <laughs> It's not so much that we're trying to create conflict, it's the fact that you guys can be the number one and two guys in the world and potentially fans might want to see that match up. Is, is many ways of, of uh of doing this is maybe I might go up, maybe he might go up, maybe I'm gonna, you know, there's many other options. And I have planned, I have, I have planned for my career, you know. Like I, I cannot tell you everything, guys, but I have, uh, you know, there is other other ways of doing things, you know. George, you. I'm not, I'm not gonna. I don't want to fight Rory.